Hey guys, Brian here. Welcome back to the shop. Got the press unloaded sitting here, and I have to say that uh, I was a little concerned at first when I got this thing down and plugged it up, it wouldn't work at all. But after spending about uh, two hours filling it back up with oil, it uh, has a little weird setup on this. I'll show you. It's kind of unique on the pump. But I uh, finally managed to get this thing filled up and bled out to where it's working like it's supposed to. This ram has got uh, 10 inches of stroke to it. And as a test, I've just got this six by six block here. I didn't have a piece of steel uh, wide enough to go all the way across here. That was real heavy. So I'm gonna use this six by six block as a test. You'd be surprised how much one of those will hold. I know over 20 tons. And that's good enough for me to check it out to see that it works like it should and everything looks good. I don't know if anybody's had one of these. If they know what this valve is up here on the top, I assumed it was a pressure regulate thing, but it may actually be a flow control. I'm not sure. But anyway, let's uh, fire this thing up and uh, check it out. Control runs a diesel injection pump there on the back for so the hydraulic tank, kind of nifty. Uh, you can barely turn it, make the barely pump, turn it all the way, make the pump lock. So anyway, it appears to be working okay uh, as far as that part of it goes. The, uh, the hoist mechanism, I'm gonna have to take his part. The keyway must be stripped 
Uh, when you turn this, it won't elevate. It just spins the gear. I'm gonna turn the shaft. So I'm gonna take that apart and see if I can get that fixed. This is a older machine. If anybody recognizes this thing from uh, Dake Corporation, tell me how old this thing is. Serial number 147428, model 5083. And let's take a look at this pump. So, if any of you have a case tractor from the 40s, it's a four cylinder diesel, you may recognize this injection pump. We've got an American Bosch four cylinder inline diesel fuel injection pump for a hydraulic pump. I kind of thought that was an interesting novel idea. Just to how to function this. I mean, you've got four injectors teed together in a single block. And this is the rack control for it. So when it's not pumping right now, it's at zero rack and the, the, the plungers have a curve have a helix cut on the outside of them. And as they twist, they deliver more and more uh, fuel, or in this case, oil. And when they're released, the, there's a slot that's uncovered and they don't pump anything. So there's zero load right now with it pumping, with it, no stroke. And then as you turn the control on the front and increase the stroke here on the rack, it makes it pump more and more and more oil. And I mean, you're getting a metered quantity out of this just like you would a diesel fuel injection pump. So that's pretty slick if you're ever building a hydraulic pump for a, a, a hydraulic press. It's probably not a bad idea there and get you a truck diesel injection pump, get a P pump or something and um, make a manifold block and, and uh, hook them all together and Take the governor off and build your rack control and you got a variable displacement pump that's designed to run thousands and thousands of hours because that's what they do on the tractors in their normal application. So thought that was pretty cool. And the old uh, enclosed Lima electric motor from Lima, Ohio runs just fine. Can't complain a bit about that. So. All I got to do is get the hoist mechanism fixed and I think this thing here will be a fully serviceable unit. So I'll have to take these bolts out and see what I can do about getting that apart and checking it out. Let's press the first job to me fixing itself.
First job, took itself apart. There's the sheared key. You gotta go see if I can find a piece of this key. Okay, let's see if I can get this put back together. Key in the big pulley. I'm gonna look through the film on there. Makes it slick and it's good for your skin. Just got that back together. Let's see if I can get it put back on. Crazy sweaty hands are slick. Plus they're covering fluid film. That probably doesn't help. Well, it's got it back together where it'll just. I can power elevate the table on this now with the cable. So I've got everything to where it's functional on here. Some point in time, I need to see about what I can do here. This uh, rack shaft and this injection pump leaks oil here when the level gets up that high. Normally, like right now, it's not that high, so it's not leaking out but when you pour oil in it, it leaks back out through here. So it's something that needs attention sometime, but now's not the time. We've got other things to do. We need to work on getting this space cleaned out in here to bring the big Monarch in. So I think that's gonna be the next task. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I'll catch y'all later.